story. The mother of an eighth grade girl stabbed 14 times in a Georgia school gym last spring is now suing the school district for failing to prevent the brutal attack. The lawsuit alleges a school resource officer notified administrators of the school of a knife threat. And nothing was done. Let's bring in Ashley Wilson. She is the victim's mother and her attorney, Andrew Gold. Uh, Ashley, as a parent, I just can't imagine what you're going through here with this happening to your daughter. My understanding is the background to all of this is that there was some online bullying directed to one of your daughter's friends. But what happened that day in the school gym? Um, my daughter had only been at school for about 15 minutes when she was walking to the gym class and the attacker approached her, harassing her, and other teachers witnessed the harassment and the bullying and did nothing to prevent it. And that's when my daughter was jumped by three students, one of them being the girl with the weapon. And hey, what, uh, sure. what my boy was saying, but did she die? Like, whatever, girl. Nobody worried about her. She's a glider. Just move on. Jumped. I'm calling it. I'm yeah, calling I'm, it. Just saying, I'm calling it, too. Just did she die? No, she didn't. Let's move on. You going to stay local fucking news. Who gives a fuck? Well, and then also how carefully she said three students. Yeah, exactly. She is, she's being very, very... She knows... She knows, like... At her place, the training, dog. The training yeah. is crazy. Yo, she got damn pretty good. Look, look at that blurb in picture. She got beat the fuck up, dude. Man, they was kicking her fucking head, bro. Come on, she was probably stabbed up fucking multiple times, bleeding out, and them girls were still like fucking a town stumping her shit, mm. Atlanta style. Like, damn. dude, I've been. Uh, I, listen, I myself have been involved in this type of shit. I've done this when motherfuckers hit the ground and everybody just jump in and just stomp oh, the yeah. shit out of that person. Like I did that. I had no reason to do that. I didn't even know the motherfucker. It was just Man. everybody did it. So we just jumped in and we just did it. Yep. So what Man, do you think made happened you to me once? What do you think made you do it though, Craig? Like you said you did it in the moment. What like looking back on I me? Mean. I mean, I'm looking I know back on it, I was fucking 12 or 11 years old, and right. it was just like no one thought about death, though. It was just like, oh, he fell on the ground. The cooler kid got him on the ground. All right, we jump in his ass. <laughs> That's it, motherfucker. <laughs> the the schools of war. Pure Can I say sons are very thing. susceptible to mob mentality? Yeah, definitely. Um, Because it's right in our face, like, the the as 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 bad as we are with abstract things with with we we excel at things that are in front of your face i, I forgot what they call it what's the opposite of abstract concrete yeah like if yeah like if something is just right there we we we, we like sons watch more tv than anybody you know what I'm saying? Sons um, commit more violence than anybody. Like, we, you know, we're good at that. Sons are loud. Sons are better at talking. We, anything that's, like, just there, we're good. We, 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 we're, we're, we're excel. But, yeah, um, mob, being a mob, seeing someone get your ass, their ass kicked, it infects us like a virus. And we have to get some of it harassment and the bullying and did nothing to prevent it. And that's when my daughter was jumped by three students, one of them being the girl with the weapon. And she was attacked brutally in the gym while teachers stood around. And it was all up to a courageous 13 year old boy that stepped in and saved my daughter's life. She, she was jumped by three students? Yes, sir. Was, was there any yes, kind of a provocation or did they just suddenly attack her? They were looking for the girl that was meant to be attacked. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Andrew, let me go to you because my understanding of this is that there were multiple warnings to school administrators, at least one of them brought to administrators by the school resource officer that the girl in question here had brought a knife to school and yet nothing was done. 
That's correct. So the administrators of Ola Middle School were notified on March 14th that this student had a knife on campus. The police officer notified them that the, that the student had a knife on campus. And the administrators did nothing. Despite their policies and procedures that, are, that they're required to investigate, they didn't do any investigation. They didn't go and check the student. Uh, and they didn't notify the parents of Ola Middle School students that the police officer had notified them of a child being on campus with a knife. Wow. And then the next day, they're again notified that a, the same student has a knife on campus and again, do nothing. And as a result, Ashley's daughter is stabbed at least 14 times. Hey, let's say, let's say the police uh, investigated this crime of bringing a knife or this violation of bringing a knife in and they grab her book bag. She snatched the book bag and she pulls out the knife and they end up having to shoot her in the fucking middle school. No, nah, not even that. They grab the book bag. She grabs it. They fall to the ground. Somebody pulls out their phone. Black girl body slam. Um, look at how they look at how this peace officer. Look how this um. She SRO gets tased. Body slam this black girl. We need our own schools. This um, shit literally could go so left, and I understand why the police officer yeah. probably didn't take the next step that he knew or she yeah. knew that they should have took. Because these are middle school kids, and this shit will look yeah. ugly. That's one of the reasons they got rid of school security. Exactly, because an incident where a black girl was fighting with a fucking um, um, school officer and got um, and and fell. They fell. They both fell to the ground, but they called it a body slam. Well, this this happened in Henry County, uh, Georgia. I used to live in Atlanta, so I'm quite familiar with it. Here's what the superintendent of schools, Mary Elizabeth Davis, said. Listen here. As your superintendent, I accept the responsibility for creating systems that ensure students learn at high levels and that students have opportunities to succeed. But my first and most significant responsibility is to ensure a safe school for every one of our nearly 44,000 students. Ashley, she says her first and most significant responsibility is to ensure a safe school. That didn't happen in this case, despite warnings. What should have happened when administrators were notified that this young girl had a knife? According to their handbook, they were supposed to act immediately. They were supposed to set out certain robocalls to alert parents of the threat. They were supposed to get the child, investigate it, search. They were supposed to talk to other students, look at cameras, and they did nothing because there are cameras throughout the school. There's cameras in the buses. And once this attack occurred and they started looking in, that's when they found all the evidence of this child having this weapon on campus for a wow. whole week prior to wow. my daughter being attacked. Unbelievable. I know it's been a long road back for your daughter. She's had to go through plastic surgery. She's being homeschooled. I don't know if she ever wants to go back to a public school again. Ashley Wilson, Ugly. Andrew Gold, thank you for sharing your story. We appreciate it. You got us kidding. Like it's, it's at this point, man, I'm, it's like, damn, yo, y'all are like, um, like Tiny Tim, like, like he just... <laughs> Your pity, like I feel pitiful, <laughs> right? Tiny Sam for the holidays, good, good. good. Yeah. Your, your chief, uh, I blame the parents, they should have worked overtime to put her in a uh, private school. In Catholic exactly. school. Facts, that's that just be a lesson to you, Gladys. Yeah, that's what you and and and, and if you ever want to make a lot of money, fuck real estate. The only real estate thing you need to do is find a city where the black population has increased in the last five years. I don't care if it's 2% or 3%. Start a private school in that city. Buy a building and start a private school there. Mm. I'm telling you, listen, my town, they have a major um, um, private school here. I can promise you, I didn't see one ad for that school the first 10 years I started coming in. The last two years, there are ads everywhere. I'm talking about billboards. 
Yeah. Like your black ass move in, boy. They said we gotta put some billboards <laughs> on that shit. Yeah, they saw they saw our pumping gas. Yeah, and we're God. talking about they saw that motherfucker. Like they saw him doing some shit that only homeowners do in this front yard. It was like, wait a minute, is this <laughs> Yo. motherfucker some man painting a porch? Oh shit. <laughs> right, right. We're talking about literally working class gliders. Yeah. So this. Not like one of the ones in DC that's forty thousand, but it's like twenty five thousand a year. That's a lot. Enrollment, that's a lot. 